Crokepatrick is a 764 metre mountain in the west of Ireland and an important site of pilgrimage. It is located 8 kilometres from Westport town in County Mayo. There is a car park and information centre at the starting point to the walk. Walking sticks can be purchased or hired here. There are also clean toilets. Croke Patrick derives its name from the Irish Croke Padrig, which translates to St. Patrick's Mountain, although it is known locally as the Reek. St. Patrick fasted on the summit of Croke Patrick for 40 days in the 5th century and built the church there. It is said that at the end of St. Patrick's 40 day fast, he threw a silver bell down the side of the mountain, knocking the she demon Cora from the sky and banishing all the snakes from Ireland. This is one of the more straightforward walks in Ireland. Even though the ground is all rock, there is still a well-worn path to follow up the side of the mountain. Once you reach this point in the walk, the ground levels off somewhat, but this leisurely pace does not last long. Don't be fooled into thinking that because so many people do this walk that it is very easy. The first hour of the walk is at a steep angle and the loose rock makes it all the more difficult. The last section of the climb is one of the more difficult and frustrating you will come across on any of the Irish mountains. The sheer angle of the climb, combined with the loose rock, which will cause you to slide one step backwards for every two forwards. On Reek Sunday, the last Sunday in July every year, over 25,000 pilgrims climb the mountain, many of whom climb barefoot. A seam of gold was discovered in the mountain in the 1980s. Overall grades of 0.5 ounces of gold per tonne in at least 12 quartz veins, which could produce 700,000 tonnes of ore. Mayo County Council elected not to allow mining, deciding that the gold was fine where it was. On top of the summit is a church, which is open daily from 10am to 3pm in July and August. The views from the summit are great, with Clue Bay visible to the north. According to tradition, there are 365 islands in Clue Bay, one for every day of the year. The bay is also home to Duranish, a private island purchased by John Lennon in 1967. Many people climb it through the Saturday night using flashlights to guide them to make it to the summit for first light on the Sunday morning. Here's a sample of what the mountain is like on Reek Sunday.